For more, let's bring in Sportsnet 590, the fans, NHL host Nick Alberga. Nick, I mean, we have to start with this Carey Price news. It seems the Habs thinking is that by exposing Carey Price, the, the Canadiens can protect Jake Allen in the expansion draft, and they think Seattle won't touch Price because of his hefty contract. But is that risky? Very risky, but you would have to think there was a lot of conversation involved before getting to this process. And obviously, we'll see, Jesse, over the next couple of days what transpires, uh, what route Seattle elects to go. I think it's important to bring up as well uh, Chris Drieger of the Florida Panthers, the UFA to be, is the likely candidate that is selected from the Florida Panthers and then signed subsequently to a contract. So make of that what you will, but I think it's important to note too that. It, Seattle can draft like 15 goalies if they wanted to hypothetically like it happened in Vegas where they took a lot of defensemen and then shipped them off but I think for a variety of reasons it's a calculated risk here for the Montreal Canadiens among them just the contract for Carey Price but I don't know if you're Seattle and you see the sexiness of that name considering the Stanley Cup playoffs he just had I think there's a long couple days ahead in Seattle. Carey Price is a West Coast guy too so keep that in mind mm. from BC now Jonathan Quick is another goalie that could be available to Seattle. One of a number of big names that sound like they're going to be exposed. We're talking Max Domi, Vladimir Tarasenko as well. Do any of those names surprise you? And if you're Seattle, do you take them? I think another name to throw out there is uh, Anaheim's Adam Henrique, who was fantastic at the uh, World Championship, uh, le left unprotected, I should say, by the Anaheim Ducks. But to answer your question, uh, I have to take a long look if I'm Seattle at Vladimir Tarasenko. A couple years left on his deal. Um, he's disgruntled, doesn't want to be in St. Louis. I know for a fact the Blues have been shopping him clearly the last little while. Uh, teams were happy with his medical files, by the way, because that's important to note. Uh, anytime a player is coming off sort of an injury riddled pass in this past season is a perfect example of that uh, for Tarasenko. But uh, that was a you know a bit shocking to me that Tarasenko is on the unprotected list for the St. Louis Blues. But if, if, if Seattle does go ahead and take a guy like Tarasenko, it allows them to do much more, including Jaden Schwartz, who's a UFA to be and also uh, potentially re-sign an RFA and Vince Dunn. So a lot of moving parts there in St. Louis as well. Now, my last question for you doesn't pertain to the expansion draft. It pertains to the Toronto Maple Leafs. Of course, they make a trade. They get Jared McCann. That's another forward they bring into the mix. So does that mean this is the end of Zach Hyman's time in Toronto? I think the end was like three months ago. Like I, I've been debating this for quite a bit, as you know, here in this market in Toronto. And I, I just simply put, I think Zach Hyman played himself out of Toronto and good on him. I thought he was incredible this season. He was solid last year. And quite honestly, I mean, you just have to look at this flat cap world and there's going to be casualties along the way, especially when you want to you want to pay the big for the money they did. Uh, there's going to be casualties. And unfortunately for the Maple Leafs, because Zach Hyman's so integral, so important to the success of that organization, there was going to be casualties. And it's just going to happen now because somebody's just going to knock his, his his socks off with a contract, whether it be Edmonton or somebody else. So. I think Zach Hyman, you never say never. You always have to keep the door a tad open, but I think he's done in Toronto. Nick, I have to say I'm loving all this intrigue. Lots of names out there, lots of rumors floating around. Good time to be a hockey fan, and uh, thank you for joining us as always. My pleasure.